you talk about, and this is a fascinating part, and when you're a teenager, this would be traumatic for a lot of people, you start going bald as a teenager and you're completely bald, you said almost by the age 19, 20, 21, somewhere around oh, there. Yeah. And you just decided I'm gonna make this work for me because you realized that I'm the per wigs. I, I'm the perfect, I can wear any wig in the world now because I am an actor and I play different parts. Yeah. To, to make that an asset when, and it, it has been an, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's you, to, to figure that out, I think it's such a big thing in life to, when you're, when you're dealt a certain card to say, I'm gonna make this work for me. And it has worked beautifully. Yes, it has. It nevertheless wasn't easy as a, in my late teens to find that I was losing my hair and I lost it so quickly. And I come from a family of bald men. Mm -hmm. My brothers, my father, my grandfather. Actually, no. Freedom had hair, a lot of hair. His name was Freedom Barraclough. Now, that's Victorian, if ever there was. That's fantastic. <laughs> Pardon? That's fantastic. It is, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, but one of the things I very quickly realized, because I'm, I'm quite interested in economics, um, Brent Spiner calls it... Um, my poverty mentality. Mm -hmm. He said, you were poor when you were little and you've never ever got past that point. Part of you is still stuck in the poverty region. And uh, I think that he was right. And I, 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 so losing my hair felt like a failure. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, dating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to go out with a, an 18 year old who's just got a few, and I, I used to do all this combing it over, you know. And then uh, one day, uh, a director I was working with who was very, very conscious of costs said to me, oh no, 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 you're two actors for the price of one. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> what? What? These are oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. With any with wigs, we can get three rolls out of you. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, exactly. And I've had some sensational wigs in my in my lifetime, really. Because you know they say the wig maker says you were born to wear wigs. You know, maybe it's not the biggest compliment. <laughs> 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 you were born to wear a mask. <laughs> what? Right, right, right. <clears throat> so you, so you, you're moving up in the world. You're making your way. You move to London, and there's a part in the book because you had led this very sheltered life in Muirfield, and you'd been taught all these stereotypes. And one of the stereotypes you'd been taught was don't trust the Irish. And um, you move into a flat. And there's some Irishmen. In no, it was uh, it was a lodging house. Lodging house. Okay. First of all, I still believe don't trust the Irish. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> solid advice. And I'm a hundred percent. So I am. I you come to this wonderful revelation that no, that's wrong. These are wonderful people. I think whoever told you don't trust the Irish <laughs> was spot on. But we'll let that go for now. Um, I'm glad you had a good experience with them. I had a wonderful experience. They were all young men. They'd mostly come from the west coast of Ireland mm -hmm. um, and they, because they needed work. Yeah. At that time in the late 40s, th there, was a, there was a job shortage, significant one, and people were, people were dying because yeah. they couldn't feed themselves. Right. <clears throat> and all these young guys had come over to London to get work, and they were all working on building sites. They were laborers. Uh, nobody was a skilled constructor they were they were laborers and they welcomed me into the and i shared a, a bedroom with one it was two in single beds yeah and uh over the first night when we had dinner uh one of them he, he introduced me to everyone around. they were all irish and he said listen when, when dinner's over we go out because there's a pub around the corner that's very irish friendly and he said your name is Patrick. I mean, it couldn't be better. <laughs> we, we, can, <laughs> we can introduce you to anyone. Put on this leprechaun wig. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <Absolutely>. <laughs>